Hello, I'm Nancy Helmester Brooks. In this short presentation, I'm going to briefly discuss the neurological syndrome of visual neglect. And I'm going to show you some examples of visual neglect as manifested on the cognitive linguistic quick test by a person who experienced a right hemisphere stroke. As shown in this slide, the syndrome of visual neglect uh, is the following. It's a failure to report, respond to, or orient to stimuli that are in the contralateral, extrapersonal, or intrapersonal environment. Of course, contralateral means the side opposite the site of lesion in the hemisphere. Um, note that uh, the syndrome is not due to elementary sensory or motor impairment. And in its complete form, neglect manifests itself as a remarkable unawareness of the contralateral hemispacer body. I don't want you to confuse neglect with hemianopsia, which occurs from damage to primary visual pathways interrupting input to the cerebral hemisphere from the retinas. In the case of neglect, the cerebral hemisphere receives the input, but the processing of the stimuli is impaired. Well, neglect can be so pervasive that even in the absence of other neurological deficits, it precludes functional competence. And I'll give you some evidence of that at the end of this presentation. Individuals with severe neglect are effectively cut off from one side of their external and their personal worlds, which is devastating, of course. Individuals with lasting neglect are less likely to live independently than those with aphasia and right hemiparesis. And as PTs will tell you, individuals with right CVAs and neglect are more difficult to rehabilitate than those with left hemisphere strokes who rarely show neglect. All right, so here's our case. Uh, this was a 71-year-old a right-handed woman, she had 10 years of education and a history of heart disease. The CLQT was administered three months after she experienced a right hemisphere stroke. And that stroke left her with severe left hemiplegia, right hemisphere, contralateral, left, hemis uh, left hemiplegia. Uh, her uh, CLQT profile show that her language was within normal limits, which we would expect from right hemisphere damage in a right-handed person. Her memory was mildly impaired, her attention moderately impaired. She also had moderately impaired executive function and visual spatial skills. All right, here we have her performance on the uh, symbol cancellation subtest of the CLQT. And I've tried to use uh, some color here to uh, demonstrate uh, the kinds of errors she showed. Well, first, the red circles are, are uh, target symbols that she neglected to um, cross out. All right, well, you can see from these circles that she neglected the whole left side of the sheet of paper and, and with the stimuli. Um, the green arrows are um, correct uh, cancellations. So we see that she had three correct cancellations all on the right side of the page. And the blue arrows are um, arrows of commission. That means she crossed out the wrong symbols. So she's not paying good, not only is she not paying attention to the left side of space, she's not paying good attention to uh, the target that should be crossed out. 
Well, what better example do we need of uh, left visual neglect than this uh, symbol trail performance, uh, where she is supposed to go from the smallest circle to the smallest triangle, next biggest circle, next biggest triangle, and so forth. And you can see she doesn't pay any attention to those on the left side of space, and in fact, um, only earns herself one point for the smallest circle to the smallest triangle. And the final example I'll show you is uh, on the more difficult of the mazes, of the two uh, CLQT mazes. And not only is she only going to do the left-hand side of the ma or right-hand side of the maze, but she, in order to try to get to the money from the start arrow, she's uh, disobeying rules and going up dead ends and uh, crossing lines and so forth. So um, needless to say, she doesn't earn any points for this performance. So this case of uh, right CVA um, did indeed show severe visual neglect on the cognitive linguistic quick test. Uh, but what about her functional performance? Well, we had uh, clinicians rate a scale of uh, functional performance actually on 19 items uh, at the same time that the CLQT was administered. And the psychologists in this case rated her as displaying very poor attention to environmental items in the left side of space, we're not surprised. Neglect of her left, left side of her body. Uh, she paid little attention to her personal appearance. And, and I have examples of that in my practice, like a man who, with the right CVA, who sh shaved only um, the right side of his face, neglecting the left side. And a woman who only put lipstick on the right side of her mouth. Um, so our case here, I uh, have moderate difficulty in awareness of her own problems. And from my experience, I had a taxi driver who thought that even though we had left hemiplegia and severe visual neglect and couldn't wheel his wheelchair down the hallway without bumping into the left side, left wall, uh, thought he could go back to being a taxi driver. So. This woman, uh, in our case here, uh, had trouble keeping track of her possessions and finding her way around. She had trouble remembering new directions and using the telephone, which when you think about it, has a uh, quite a visual component to it. Uh, the woman also had trouble remembering to take her medication and planning, organizing, and executing multi-step daily activities, which made her all in all a difficult rehab case. All right, uh, that's it for this short presentation, but uh, this topic is so important, I hope that you will continue to educate yourself on it.